So I was raised in the Panhandle. In the Panhandle, we don't have brush, and we don't have brush problems. We don't have trees, for that matter. So I wasn't raised around the, these animals, and the first time I saw them, I thought, I thought they were sheep. I remember one of the first things I ever told Cody was, my dad calls sheep grass maggots. <laughs> he didn't think that was very funny. I had to learn the difference between a sheep and a goat. People look at these animals and see lots of white hair and they think, well, that's a sheep. But they are goats and wool and mohair are different. Wool grows on sheep, mohair grows on goats. My name is Melody Kniper. I'm in the hill country of Texas. Um, my husband and I raise cattle, sheep, and goats. Specifically, behind me are some Angora goats that we race. My name's Cody Kniper. I'm a fifth generation rancher here in Kendall County. We've been raising Angora since about the 80s. A lot of goats are raised for milk or for their meat, but these goats specifically are raised for their hair. It's a really strong fiber. It's a really, really soft fiber. Holds dye well. The hair grows about an inch a month. Adult goat will shear about five pounds of mohair each time. We shear Angora goats twice a year, once in the early spring and once in early fall. Farmers and ranchers don't shear their own goats. They hire shearing crews to come in and shear their goats for them. There's usually five or six guys at a time that come and they set up their equipment, their shears, and they shear the goats in a barn in a covered area on a nice clean floor. And they'll bring another guy along that'll pick up the fleeces and then they'll have another guy that will be stomping the sacks and sewing the sacks shut to keep everything moving smoothly. A lot of times kids say, well, doesn't that hurt them? And I say, no, it's the same thing as if you got a haircut. It's actually a relief to them, especially in August when it's really hot outside. One of the biggest challenges is uh, finding shears. It's a hard job and nobody wants to do it. It's backbreaking work. But we've been fortunate that we have a very good crew that comes out and do the work for us, and we really appreciate them. My name is Paco. I'm a third generation sheep shear, goats here. My uncles are the second. My son's the fourth. I hope it continues doing it. You know, we just don't have the manpower to do it anymore like we used to. It's just a dying art. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be 60. I've been doing this since I was 12. I went to school, graduated, went to college, came back, and I won't change it for the world. I love what I do, and it's hard work. You gotta be tough to do this. We're gonna keep doing it till I just can't do it anymore. That's what I love to do. After we share the goats, they'll take it to the warehouses. And they'll market it for us, and it'll be made into fabric, carpets, yarns. My mother-in-law has a jacket made out of mohair. I have some socks made out of mohair. Uh, we have a blanket made out of mohair. It's just neat to see where it started on an animal and, and what it turns into and how it people can use it. This area is really good for Angora goats because they do well on the brush that we have. They can do well in dry climate. Texas ranks number one in mohair production and the Edwards Plateau area is number one in the nation for Angora goats. There's established predator control in this area. The landscape, the weather, the vegetation that we have here is just really great for Angora goats. My little girls, they love spending time together out on the ranch. Cody and I have two girls. Rosalind is nine and Lillian is six. They would rather be at home with their dad on the ranch than they would at school most days. I want to raise my kids to be hardworking kids and there's no better way to do that than on the farm and ranch. On Sunday afternoons, just getting on the mule and driving around, checking our animals before the week starts and gets busy. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's nice. It's just a, it's a great way to raise kids. They really enjoy it and it makes everything we do worth it.